Hi, my name is Benedict Stein and I'm an exploration geologist. Today I would like to run you through stream sediment sampling techniques and good sites to choose your stream sediment sample. Why is stream sediment sampling so important? Well, that's a prime reconnaissance exploration tool that you would use in uh, the early stages of your exploration projects where you want to screen an area or even a region for anomalous um, locations. Um, what you do in stream sediment sampling is you take a sample, a representative sample of the catchment area, which is in our case here, the um, upstream um, catchment basin. Um, and this representative sample will give you a clue about the geology, the lithologies and the um, mineralization potential in this area. Now you want to choose a location that is, as I said, representative of the bigger catchment um, area, catchment basin. And for that you will go and look in streams like this here um, for either point bars, as we see here, or a bit further upstream we've got in-stream gravel bars. And these, these trap sites basically um, trap sediment coarse as well as fine sediment because the flow velocity of the stream is rapidly decreasing. That's why in such sites you will get an accumulation of heavy minerals and it could be um, minerals such as cassiterite, wolframite, gold or other heavy minerals such as rutile or titanite. And if you want to sample for these minerals you would go and sample the, you know, the coarse um, fraction. If you are looking for base metal targets, what you can also do is you can sample and uh, sift down the material to the clay and silt size, which is usually the best size to go for um, when you look for sulfides. However, not always, and that's why you need a careful plant orientation study to choose the best location and the best fraction uh, for analysis. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was informative and I should uh, see you in the next video.